very serious question. We get oh, feedback on it. And it's very embarrassing to me to have to, to, to do this, but it's very important. So for the next film, I want to, and you can answer it probably, and if not, maybe there's some other um, I have a real difficulty with nudity and actors and sex acts. I really have a hard time with it. I really, really do. And um, in our last, in this, in this film here, we had, it was called for in the story. We really needed to have a sex scene in the story. And um, I was an idiot. But I'm a really good director, but I'm a really good producer, but I was an idiot in that scene because I just, it was hard for me to have a young lady uh, undress these young couples who have these two actors who have come to dress with so much and they've never died well yeah. they've died I'm not sure but anyway uh, a, a new team before a love scene Those two actors. We made it through it. I closed the set. The first thing I did was close the set. And I mean, I closed it. I had absolutely nobody on, on set except the cinematographer, me, uh, the, the sound guy, and there was no one else. I closed it. Nobody else. No oh, so monitor, show, nobody on set. Right. So that helped a little bit, I think. They knew they were just awesome. Yeah, yeah, really 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 but they were looking to me like, so trusting. Yeah, yeah. We'll do this cat. We'll do it. You're you're tell us to do just tell me what to do. I was so nervous and at a loss. Are there any, any tips you can give in helping an actor get more comfortable in that kind of situation? Yeah, I was just going to say, well, I didn't. No, no, no. 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 It's okay, so the cinematographer works sometimes like the system, the stills were talking about, the famous stills were talking about. And he was saying that everything's like very matter of fact. So he's looking through and he goes, alright, I'll just take the patterns off now. You know what? He doesn't make a big deal about it. And everything just, as soon as everyone gets embarrassed, then they lock up. So, so I just took that approach. Now, the other thing that we did is, uh, originally the sex stuff was going to be uh, in the third week of shooting. Previous weeks we had to be all night in the first week. Peter, the main actor, said that was much better because he didn't know anybody then. He said, if I had to wait, he said, I was anxious about the scenes anyway. If I had had to wait till like week three, I'd have been worried about it for two weeks. And then I'd have like known everybody. So now I've got to get naked in front of everyone. And he, he doesn't even like drop his jaws because his agent said, you're not showing your ass. Yeah. You might be a big actor one day, and I don't want to have this like, small, robust film out there where everyone's like, showing it on his tabloids. Oh, this is the first time I'm showing it. So that was okay. But the act the girl, the actress, she's been it. So it worked having it on the first, uh, in the first week. That's what I did too. That's what I did too the first day. Just to get it out of the way. The first two days, there was, there, was, there was three scenes, and I just did them in the beginning. Because nobody, nobody, once you got into, once you got a little deeper and everybody kind of had spent time with each other and yeah. got, become, got to become close and friends or whatever, and then it would have been weirder because it would have been weirder for these people to kind of like, in some, in some instances you would think it would be the opposite way around, but in those instances people, a lot of them just came in. It was difficult to find someone first of all, I mean, maybe I don't know how it was for you. It was difficult, so I had to find like a scream queen, someone who had done it that was that didn't even care at all about the camera or whatever. She was the, the, the two girls were kind of like oh, whatever, so they didn't care at all about about doing it. But I just did it more so for for the sanctity of just getting it, getting that stuff that was necessary out of the way because the actors came in, they 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 ran their lines or whatever, and I mean it it, it went over it went over easier in the beginning because. Once we got into like week two, everybody was, everybody had partied and had a good time with each other and done whatever. So it was kind of like, it would have been a little more awkward to kind of, but a little more awkward to kind of like, oh, like, like, so that to was get a, into it. See, that was the thing we really, really must have been the same sort of thing as being actors. I've had it before in the short film where people go, oh, you know, I'm totally okay with you, and they turn up on the day and they're like, oh, 
yeah, 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 I can do it, so I will do it. So like, the difficult was finding someone who already done nudity, so I knew what that would be, but I could also act. Yes. So people were brilliant yes. actresses, but didn't want to get naked. Yeah. They were quite happy to get naked, you couldn't act. Yeah. And then it was a bit of sort of luck and different things that we met Carol. We can act, and she's French, so she was completely okay being nude. And she could act, so that was better. <laughs> <laughs> so was she she was your set? Well, we only had a small set, there's only like seven people on the crew because it was that type of film. So, um, everyone who was there was kind of. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was I couldn't work with any fewer people. So. Mine was small too, it was all like in a tent and stuff, and some of like that. So. I closed the set for the one. No, 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 everybody for it. Every, there was the bedroom one I did because it was just me and like the, the like you said, the sound and the camera. Because it was a small bedroom and there was no need for anybody else to be with it. I mean, the actress, she said, like, when we got the cast and crew screening, I said to her, you know, what did you think? She said, I was just looking at me belly all the time because for the whole, every time, you know, you said action, I was holding my stomach torn, so it looked good. Now, of course, <laughs> when you see the screen, you only see it with a torn stomach. Whereas after you say, you know, she lets it all down now, so she's much more relaxed. So of course, she doesn't want everybody seeing her. Yeah, it's not the image she's projecting, she's just her now, not the character. Yeah, but an actor sexy on film is very tiny. You don't see anything, actually. You don't see any flesh. Everything's covered perfectly. You know, I mean, you just kind of get a little glimpse of it. But uh, filming is different. I mean, a lot of things get exposed. Yeah. And, you know, you've got on the cutting room floor is a lot of things that I don't want people to see. <laughs> but um, it, so you, but you still got to get them all at ease when you're filming yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's true. So, uh, you, you only in the in the end product you only show the best one. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I mean, just like, just how you see, just how you see photographers. Like, it's usually just a photographer and a model, whether it's Playboy, whatever it might be, Maxim, or any of those magazines. It's usually that person. Now, I'm sure there's other crew people, well, or whatever, but uh, but yes. but they're they're projecting to millions of people no, in the pages of magazines the or whatever. For but that is when we the still photographer. Which is a, you talk about a rapport between actors. There's a rapport between the still photographer and the model. Yeah. You're, you, uh, they trust you. Yeah. Well, you're, 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 act, you're having a dialogue. You're, 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 you're cueing them. You're telling them to move and stuff. So you're, you can't have distraction. You can't yeah, have yeah, yeah. people's voices in the we're background. We're just like the director. The director on the film set has yeah. to have lights, yeah. sound, you know, all yeah. those other There's components. other departments that just I mean, necessity. Like you could have a, a whole, you could have this whole lit here with just a model. Whereas we have to have you know, like a crew of people that are around that all are looking to well, yeah. that one figure to well, say set the lights like, sound the ready, lighting, whatever. Yeah. So it's a lot of intangibles. Yeah. One thing I found That's out too fun. that a friend of mine last week told me that that he had a problem with is like is like what, what you obviously did is is identifying the gravity of what it's going to be in the scene because it was kind of it was kind of just written out that they were going to have had they were in a bedroom and they were making out or whatever but it wasn't it wasn't written spelled out because and then the one the actress that had signed on was like oh well i didn't know it was going to be this or cause she didn't even want to get like she didn't even want to be like in her underclothes because it wasn't something that was specific to the script or whatever so and i told him i said yeah, i know it's your first time doing it so i said you just got to be specific in your writing and when you're talking to the actors you're casting because they have to know exactly what it is that you want from whether he didn't even want nudity. It was just like it was just kind of unclipped dressing and going, you know, that undressing and falling onto the bed, like, and then it fades out or whatever. But she would, she wasn't comfortable with doing that, with doing anything. And I said, really, you filmed her up to that point, so there's nothing you can do now. I said, you've already shot her. I said, you can't fire her because your movie. He had like a day or two left. So I say you, you just gotta, so the scene basically is the other actor has no shirt and they kind of just fall back on the bed, she's got her jeans and the thing on her and it just kind of had to be the way it was, I mean, because it wasn't specified, wasn't spelled out, but you gotta really be specific and you can't be bashful about that stuff, casting or whatever, you gotta spell it out. If you want a bikini, say bikini, don't say it to a uh, swimsuit because that's, that's another thing that's not, yeah. It's not specific and that I've seen. Is different than, you know, yep, um, underclothes is different than lingerie yeah, yeah. or whatever or anything like that. So yeah, yeah. it's like spelling out exactly what you want as a writer director is the keys. So, I mean, that was